Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be making this tutorial on how to dock in orbit. So, first off, I am going to launch this rocket twice, once to get it into orbit, and a second time to get the second piece into orbit, which then we will dock the two. I will get this one into orbit right now, and then I'll skip over the launching of the second one, because you can just do the same thing as the first one. So like any launch, uh, turn on your ignition. This one has the stages, so you can use this. We will be turning left for this orbit, and so that will affect how our orbit around the Earth goes. It won't be going right ways around the Earth, it'll be going leftwards. So you can see I have a space station in an orbit around the Earth, it, it, but it's going, uh, it's going rightwards, so I'm going to get this one going leftwards. Alright, so we're at 10 kilometers altitude. And we are about to run out of fuel on this stage. Now we will wait and fast forward, turn this way, probably release those, and ignite again. Those will fall down back to earth, so that's fine. Now we will wait, I will speed this up. is low earth orbit so we'll now adjust our orbit so that it's more I guess equal I don't know all right that seems pretty good to me so now we will uh, release there and we have our first part of the station we're going to build. So, we can extend the solar panels if we like and clear these debris. And so now I will launch the second part of this station. This second launch is the exact same as the first one. Make sure you're going the same direction. We went left on the first launch, so we will go left on the second launch as well. Alright, so now that we've reached space, or almost there, uh, with our second launch, we will click our previous launch and click Navigate 2, and it will give us a transfer 300 meters per second faster is how fast we need to go, so we will go 300 meters per second faster, and then we will get a meetup point. Okay, so now we're going too fast, so we can turn on RCS, and that will help slow us down, so that we're going exactly the right momentum that we need to meet up with our rocket. So right now you can probably tell that our orbit is very different from the orbit of the rocket we're trying to navigate to. Ours is much more elongated while its is more round, so that might give us a little bit of trouble, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Because, actually at this point, we can just get rid of that, and now we will fast forward until we meet up. And at this point, we might be able to make visual contact, we might be able to see it, but probably not. Oh, yes, we, we see it, we see it, we see it. So, now we just need to try to get our relative speed to it down. So we will accelerate in this direction so that we're trying to get our speed closer to that of it. So, this, this can be kind of different for every encounter. In this one, it's coming from this way, so we have to be accelerating opposite from it. So... Yeah, you'll, we'll see ourselves slowing down in relation to it, and 
that is exactly what we want. If we want to do this a little bit more efficient, we can turn this way so that all of our RCS are being used. Okay, and it's going to just scream past us. And uh, you don't want to dock like this. This is not good. But now, now we just wait and let our RCS do our, its thing. If, if this is your attempt, then you don't want to lose it. So even if it is going pretty far away from you, you can still salvage it. I'm going to turn on my solar panels so that we can kind of see it from a wider area. And uh, I'm going to just keep correcting it, keep trying to get it closer to us. And it's not that fast away from us. So, in theory, we shouldn't have that much trouble. Yeah, so now it's kind of stationary on the screen up here. We just want it to start coming towards us, or us going towards it. And if we just continue to burn our RCS like this, it, that will be what happens. You can see our orbits will continue, like aligning more and more as we get closer and closer to it and now it is starting to move towards us which is perfect yeah now we are on a collision course with it if we just wanted to fast forward and let that kind of happen we could like we can see that it is uh fast forwarding towards us at a very uh like i don't know Is that going to start moving towards us? Apparently so. Okay. So yeah, now we can... You, like, you can fast forward and do whatever in these kind of dockings. It really doesn't matter, because as long as you have it in your sights, it shouldn't be too hard for you to just meet up with it. At this point, it should not be too hard. You just got to be careful not to overshoot. And that's the biggest problem I find when doing stuff like this. It's just overshooting is a scary scary thing to have happen now you're gonna wanna like slow yourself down compared to it so that you're not gonna be screaming past each other and just try to maximize the amount of pushback you're getting from your RCS oof okay so a little bit of a miss there but not not anything to worry about. This kind of docking is just kind of trial and error. Keep getting it. The more you do this, the better you'll get. I've only done this a few times, so I'm not the greatest either. We are moving towards each other, and yeah, so one thing that I find can be really helpful is just uh, getting your relative velocity against it to zero so that you're just not moving anywhere compared to it and that will really give you just a straight on way as if you're not even moving at all but yeah so thank you guys for watching this shouldn't like I said this is just trial and error the more you do this the better you'll get at it so yeah and there you go docked in low earth orbit when you dock the ships will become one and yeah so there you go thank you guys for watching and goodbye